Welcome. Hi guys, welcome to the vlog. I'm Andy and it's been almost... Did you hear her? Who's that girl? I'm sure you guys at home have been cooking. Tasted mommy's food, right? Yeah. Did you like it? Yeah. What was your favorite food that I cooked recently? Maybe it was the banana cake you baked for my birthday. Really? Yeah. That was like a month ago. It's not the banana cake that you usually buy Mama, in bakeries. I want so many ones. Yeah, but this this banana cake is kind of like a custard banana cake, and it was so good. Olivia finished half of what I baked. Now we're finally gonna do it because it was approved by Olivia that the recipe was delicious. This is the thing we're gonna do. Step one: add one egg into the bowl. Step two: mix it. Step three, add some flour. Step five, put some sugar. And then, step zero, you're done. Can I see the paper again? No, Can I you didn't show put it? it in the oven. We're gonna go get the ingredients and we're gonna go start baking our easy banana cake, which you can do with your kids at home. And mom, I'll get the ingredients and I'm gonna be the one to copy the ones here. You get the flour and mix it, and I get the egg and I get the bowl and I get the water, okay? Yes, boss. Let's go. Thank you. <laughs> hey guys, so we're gonna make banana cake with these three eggs. Now we have four egg whites, and now I'm gonna mix it. And remember, ask a grown up for help, and I'm mixing it very slowly so it doesn't smell. We don't have that mixer. We're just gonna do handheld. It's becoming bubbly now. Are we following your instructions or are you gonna follow mom's instructions? I'm gonna follow your instructions. What we're gonna do now is... Oh, not yours, mine. We put the egg in the bowl already. We mixed it already. Okay, I put it in a check there because we did that. Now we have to all add the flour. Mama, get that. Okay, and then get the brown sugar and then put it in the bowl, please. I'm going to put the four egg yolks inside. The egg yolk is so right inside. You see it? The yellow stuff. Oh. That looks yummy. But they said the sink, Mom. Now we got to mix it up. Now we're going to put three, four cup sugar. Two, three. And mix it together. It looks like smash bananas. Why are you saying bananas? Because that's the way I say it. If frogs is a bottle, they will not say ribbit, ribbit. They'll say butter, 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 butter. <laughs> butter. <laughs> butter. <laughs> is that your joke? Yes. Okay, now, so we have one half cup butter that we're gonna pour with our egg mm -hmm. yolk and sugar. Okay, now mix it. Mix and mix. Wait, it's for now. Can I eat it now? Because it's poison. Ah, that's good. When can I taste it? Can I lick it? Mama, oh, don't stop it! Why are you slapping it? Remember, when you do this, ask a grown up for help. Hold on. And you know, I was in the beach and I found two rocks. And this is the rock I got. One rock and two rocks. But I got these for a very long time. Now we're gonna add one tablespoon of water. Yes, I'm gonna add it. So we decided to make this banana custard cake because look at our bananas. It's getting um, rotten or bulok already. So uh, we need one half cup of bananas. You guys can add more if you want. To make it taste like bananas more. I think Okay, so make... now we um, we got one banana and we're mashing it just with our fork. Yes. What did you do? Um, I won't tell you. <laughs> Maybe when this is done, and when and when people see the end, they might say, "Oh no, oh no, I want to eat the whole cake." Put the bananas inside, and then you mix it, okay? What are you putting there? You're checking the list. Yeah, I'm checking. So now that we mixed everything, we are gonna. You wanna put your name or I'll put? No, you can put your name. Okay, Mama, do you want me to? We're put gonna your put name the on flour. Here? Which this is Olivia's favorite part. We're gonna put the flour. And. Ah! Good rest, Carol. That's one cup of flour which we're gonna mix. Now we're gonna add the milk. Mm, two cups 
of milk. Okay, mix, mix, mix. So while she's doing that, I'm actually um, beating the egg whites to make it foamy. So I was able to beat the egg whites for maybe five minutes, and this is how it turned out. Sweet. Smells awesome and yummy. I'm pretending it's a mix of. Oh, uh, look at that. I have a baby machine. And I have a mommy machine. And the batter is actually very thin, but that's what you're gonna put in the pan, okay? So okay. once you've mixed this all properly, you guys can add in the egg whites. Uh-huh. Yeah? Let's mix it all in. Looks like clouds in a yellow sun. We mix it pretty well already, um, just to make sure to evenly mix it out. Yes? Um, Olivia said that she's gonna go take a break and I should take her video while she's resting. So let's go check her out first before. Okay, she's doing her beauty sleep. So she said she got tired from baking. It's tired from baking. Excuse me. What? Why do you have to rest? Was it tiring for you? Hmm, yeah. I had a tired of baking. <laughs> okay, go sleep. Bye. I'm gonna eat every I'm gonna eat everything, okay? No, um, you have to wake me up and you can tell me when done making it and then I can eat it and then when I hear you, I'm gonna wake up. Okay, so now we have to set it at 325 Fahrenheit or 162 Celsius. I researched that. <laughs> so now that it's set, we bake it for around 30 to 45 minutes. I suggest at 30 minutes you go check it out already. If it's a little jiggly in the middle, then it's really up to you. And it depends on the pan that you use or how much batter that you put. That's why I half mine into two because I wanted it thin and it's easier for us to eat. But if you want it thicker and you're that type of person who likes um, it a little bit liquidy or a little bit soft or basa inside, then I suggest just do one full tray and make it a little thicker. So we have a few minutes since the cake is still cooking. Um, I just wanted to ask how you guys are. I mean, we're all in the same storm, but we're taking different boats. We have different situations. We have all different emotions. And I mean, we're all going through different things differently. One thing that has been really keeping me inspired is just spending time alone and reflecting on everything. I feel like if I just keep myself busy and one day I'm gonna just end up hiding this anxiety or fear, but I every day I choose to face it every morning with prayer and I choose to face it even as scary as it is, even if the giants of this world are big, like the virus, um, it's good to start your day or just have the time or put aside time where you can really think reflect and somehow just lift all those fear and emotions and worries and anxiety that the world is eating you up in with all the news and all the negative ne negativity that you're hearing you just need time for yourself to just breathe look around See what you're thankful for, that every day is a blessing, that every day waking up beside your loved ones is already such, it's already like, there's so many things to be thankful for. So yeah, so this is just a little tip from me when it comes to somehow how I deal with um, the quarantine and this season in our life is really just spending time with God alone every morning or at night and just talking to Him and just letting out all my fears and my emotions and i break down a lot of times i mean we're all i'm still human but yeah that's just one thing i just would recommend for you guys to do anyway <laughs> is it getting too serious <laughs> okay we're gonna go check on the banana custard bread it looks so good you gonna try i'm gonna try why are you wearing that I slept. <laughs> um, my batter was thin. It wasn't so thick, and I divided it into two. So I, di so it was just Mommy. half the time in the oven. Strap. I said that if you. Oh, I got burned. Okay, so like I said, 
to put it 30 or 45 minutes inside but it was just there for like 15 minutes I suggest to really just keep checking your custard cake <laughs> Sarah? Mm -hmm. What? Mm. Is it the best? Mm -hmm. Here you can have it Kids don't lie. <laughs> what? <laughs> See, Ollie, look, it goes down. See, now it's flat. So this is powdered sugar. Ooh. Okay. And that is our banana custard cake. And then we can chop bananas and put it there. Okay, so my camera died. We're just gonna use my phone. This is our banana custard cake. We put powdered sugar, but like Olivia said, if you want, you can design it with more bananas on top, but we don't have bananas anymore. We actually ate the rest. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this super simple banana custard cake that your kids will for sure enjoy. And we're gonna go serve it tonight for dinner for dessert. And we also made some for the household help. There's his other trays. And mom, can we make? And next time, can we video and make donuts for the gods? Because since gods like donuts. I don't know how to make donuts, but we'll make something for them. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, bye guys. Bye. Um, we hope you guys are safe with your, all your family and uh -huh. you guys give a thumbs up and let us know how you guys are doing. We haven't baked in a while or made any recipe for uh -huh. YouTube or for this vlog. Maybe we'll continue to make since we've been baking and we've been cooking a lot at home. Ah! <laughs> We're gonna go eat now and don't forget to like and subscribe to this Bye. channel and this video. Mama, and we hope you guys are doing okay. Everybody's telling you what you're gonna eat. What are, what are they gonna eat? Are they telling me what to eat? No. No. The people wants the people doesn't know what you're gonna eat. I'm gonna eat my banana cake. Oh, also me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. What what message do you want to tell everybody? I love everybody and thanks for giving me all the hearts. And also, you can say that we hope you're safe with this coronavirus. Yes. What? And we can pray for a little bit. Okay. Okay, sis. Pray for the sick people. Pray that we heal them. We pray that we pray that the virus goes away. We pray that it will go back to normal. That's just a short prayer. And did you pray? Amen. <laughs>